I'm trying to figure out how are you going to differentiate yourself from, let's say, you know, the grumpy old guy in the corner shop that people have been buying herbal stuff from for, I don't know, four generations. Yes, yeah, so we listed on the Australian Stock Exchange and we've opened the office in Melbourne, um, primarily, uh, obviously, to raise money for accelerated expansion in China, but also to source intellectual property from, uh, from Australia. And, and that may mean, uh, for example, our diabetes product, which we source from uh, Omni Innovation, uh, we've launched in China. We actually source 4% of the core ingredient for that product that was clinically tested here in Australia. We make 96% of that product in China. So we've got the affordability equation right, but we've also got a, an IP uh, that's clinically tested in Australia and with patents that are, that are from Australia. So that's one piece of differentiation where we can still provide affordable medicine and affordable treatment, but also leverage our Australian presence. All right, Rod, quickly before we let you go, talk to us about this MOU that you just signed to supply uh, some key emerging markets. Well, okay, so uh, a cornerstone investor that came in on the IPO a year ago is uh, a, an African company called AMCA. Um, they have a very nice business in, in Africa, and they've re they're really well ahead of, of, of Eagle in terms of scale and their ability to manufacture affordable health products for emerging markets. So this MOU and their cornerstone investment in Eagle means we're going to work together um, to take Eagle not only into China but also expand our presence across the region um, in, in, in Asia and also in Africa over time. Um, so that opening up affordable supplements and nutritional products is a key part of our, of our joint MOU. Still watching? Perfect. Click here to watch another great video from CNBC International. Oh. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.